Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to The Real United States. I'm your host, Paul Campbell, and behind the camera, as always, is our camera operator, my wife, Beverly Campbell. We're still here in Alexandria, Virginia, and I noticed this hedge along here. I wanted to just share it with you real quickly. This hedge, you can see, is actually holly. I don't know if you can really see this this well. We'll try and get some close-up shots, but this is holly. Now, the interesting thing is holly is often associated with the Christmas holidays, which we usually think of white Christmas, snow, the northern climates. But the fact of the matter is, holly grows in more temperate climates here in the United States. It doesn't grow in the northern regions where you think about the long winters with lots of snow. It's actually a more southern species that grows here in the United States. And it does, in uh, certain times of year, get the red berry on it. It's very pretty, the holly berries. These don't have any, they've probably been trimmed off. And this, left to its own device, will actually grow into a tree. It's not just a holly bush, although it's often referred to as a holly bush. It'll grow into a tree of a relatively significant diameter and quite tall. I don't know off the top of my head what the genus and species are or what the average height is, but I've seen these trees, and at some point in the future we'll probably get some video or some still photographs to share with you about that, because I've seen them here in the local area. So I just wanted to kind of dispel the myth that uh, holly was a thing associated with uh, the northern climates because it's usually thought of at Christmas. It is, in fact, a mid-states sort of a thing down in the 30, 35, 38 degree latitude line. And it's a very pretty thing. I'll try and put here on the screen somewhere what the genus and species are of this. Of course, you know how I enjoy doing that. But I just wanted to share with you this fact that they actually do use holly bushes as hedges in much of the south central United States and that they last many, many years. They uh, are a very long lived plant, so it makes a nice hedge and they're very common here, of course, on the East Coast uh, near the capital city of Washington, D.C., because it's one of those things that's also associated with colonial times. You'll notice the holly leaf is kind of small and that it actually has these spines on the outside to help protect it from being eaten by wildlife. It's a very decorative leaf. That's probably why it's often associated with the Christmas holidays. And it is, it is pretty picky if you bump into it. It's uh, not like a real sharp like a raspberry bush or something like that, but it is uh, quite prickly and that will deter wildlife from nibbling on it. So it uh, protects itself from the animals and from everything else that might attack it. So we'd like to thank you for joining us here on The Real United States for this short episode on the holly tree and the holly bush. We hope you've enjoyed this. We hope you'll pick subscribe and join us for future episodes. Come along for the adventure. If you have questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. I love hearing from all of you. I try to get back to everyone I can as soon as possible. And as always, thank you for watching.